Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, I'm gonna show you the most economical, budget-friendly, versatile little exhaust system you've ever seen. All right, you heard me right. I didn't lie, I didn't twist the words. Good and cheap are in the same sandwich today. And boy, does that sandwich taste good. So before we actually get started here, I do wanna say credit is due where credit is due. I got this idea originally from Richard Martin who has an amazing exhaust set up at his lab and everything. And I was envious because for years and years I've been using BS little fans and you know all kinds of other crazy stuff just because my circumstance wouldn't really allow me to have a big, huge, loud exhaust system, okay? But this solves all of that. And it solves all of that in a way that literally costs like $70. And the closest comparable system is like $500. Can you believe that? $500 and we're about to do it for 70? All right, all right, I'm not gonna wait anymore. We're gonna do this. So the issue is, just like I was showing you with the other one, you either get a big honking, nasty, you know, giant thing that it's as big as my head, okay? And it doesn't really fit under the microscope, okay? And the next type of system uses like a hose that comes right down to your work, all convenient-like. Okay, well, let's build it. Let's do that for cheap, okay? The first thing we're gonna need, four-inch inline duct fan, okay? It's like 200 CFM. Don't buy the 100, you know, CFM cheap ones. Those, you know, don't, don't be doing all that now. You're wasting your money. This is only like $20 anyway. All the links for everything I'm doing, by the way, are gonna be down in the description. Not that big a deal. You ain't gotta go searching or anything right down there. So first thing, we need the exhaust fan, okay? Second thing, we're gonna need some duct work because we're gonna create that little bitty hose that comes to our work and pulls it away and gets it away from us. And you're thinking, okay, that's all we need, right? We're just gonna take the hose and we're gonna stick it on top of the fan and we're gonna plug it in, all right? I mean, that's, that's all we need. We just need to, uh, and we're done, it's, it's good to go. Nah, no. We're not there yet, okay? Unless you're planning on routing this outside of your building, we're definitely not done yet. We gotta get some filtration. Because once those fumes and gases go into the fan, it's just gonna spew them out on the other side. Or, if you're smart about it, you can get yourself a nice little four inch carbon filter here and this carbon filter is really good at filtering out gases and such this is really really good for what it is okay now normally in these bigger stations you kind of have like a like a split HEPA carbon filter that works both angles of it uh, but the carbon filter itself usually kind of filters down to about half a micron whereas the HEPA is going to go down just a little bit you know I think I think they top out like point two or 0.3 microns or something like that. But either way, if you want, you can still buy an inline HEPA that goes on here, not gonna hurt anything. But I will say that based on the amount of exhaust fumes that come off your work and the size of this carbon filter, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with it. So we got our carbon filter, we've got our fan, we've got our little, uh oh, we've got our little duct work here. And it's really important to note that arrow because that denotes the direction of the air. We want the direction of the air to be away from us. So it's sucking in like a vacuum. Okay. So we've got our carbon filter, we've got our fan, and then we've got our duct work. The last thing I'm going to add here is, and where did it go? We need a little catch. Okay. We're going to take this part for just a second here. If we don't add the catch, what's going to happen is you're going to be working on something. And as you're working on it, something's going to get sucked into the little duct work and it's going to go all the way and hit the fan and make some sounds and you're going to be like, uh oh, what have I done? There we go. We're going to press it in a little bit. There we go. We got a little catch now. Okay, so we've got everything together. We're going to put it on the ground here and we're going to test it. Um, I will say that it's probably a really, really good idea to take some duct tape and kind of wrap it around, wrap it around to make it a little more airtight. Uh, we're going to set this on the ground right now. We're going to plug it in. And the cool thing about this is you can put it on like a foot pedal. You can put it on a variable control. There's all kinds of little doodads to make this even easier for you. Up to this point, I think we're at like 70 bucks for the entire build. It's not that big a deal. We're going to take our little hose here. We're going to put it on our desk and we're going to switch over to the other camera so I can show you this. 
Got some dry ice here just so we can make a little little smoke. And we're gonna pour it in here and you're gonna get to see this thing work in action. There we go. Now you tell me. Tell me that this isn't gonna work for your soldering. Or really whatever else you're doing. I mean, this thing just sucks it right out. Okay? Um, it's a pretty simple build. There's not a lot to it. Like I said, the little carbon filter is going to do great for this kind of work. It's not like you're going to need anything crazy. Um, one thing that I do want to say, though, is if you do have a multi-station where you have, like, more than one person working and you want to get the most bang for your buck, instead of buying two of these, what you could do... Oh, this one's kind of ridiculous. Oh, here we go. You could be like me and say screw it and you could buy the big unit with the 8 incher on it and the giant 8 inch carbon filter and this thing's got enough power to, I don't know, you can run two or three hoses through this thing and have a bunch of people working, okay? Um, I will say this is absolutely 1000% overkill if you're going to run one 4 inch you know, duct line on it. You're, you're going to get a lot of backflow there and it's not really going to work as well. Um, but if you've got multiple people, it's the key. So anyway, like I said, Everything's going to be down in the description. This is super cheap. This is the best, most efficient way to do this without spending like $600. So I hope you learned something today. I hope you took something away from this that's going to help you with your budget, especially if you're just getting started. If you like the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're brand new to YouTube, you also know you got to come over and hit that notification bell. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high quality content.